Hey guys, welcome back to Walks Not Included, the Spaced Out DLC. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LV426, a cluster of asteroids that we have been inhabiting for about 396 cycles now. And today we're going to start with a little bit of a mystery down here at our metal refinery, which we've been working on last time. Totally temporary, it's really not going to be our permanent solution. We've got a solution, we've got a problem here, sorry, where we have 120 degree water brine coming out. Now, we are expecting hot liquids to come out of here. As you can see, every time the process happens, 68.8 degrees uh, get added upon that. But the water over here is only 20. So my thought process, my working hypothesis as it stands, is that this water got picked up at 20, got warmed up through these radiant liquid pipes that we've put here to cool down the metal refinery. And then this has somehow led it to being warmed up. What I'm going to do to try and solve this, because we have quite cold temperatures. Oh, we had quite cold temperatures up here. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do this anyway because I think it's a good idea. We've just run out of cobalt so we're going to go with some iron. No, it's, no, it's going to have to be copper. We're trying to save the iron as much as possible and this metal tile will hopefully dissipate the heat amongst all of this big the big pool here. What I'm really trying to do, what I'm really trying to do is empty the pool out so that the cool salt slush geyser can go ahead and provide a series of cold. No, stop, stop, stop. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to stop there. We're, we're definitely going to stop this because it's still got the superheated brine in it. We need to get rid of that. And the way that we are going to get rid of that is, of course, by just destroy it, destroying it and building another one. I think I'm going to build it out of a material that's... Uh, with a high thermal conductivity. If I click this down here, no, I'm not allowed to do it like that. Okay. Oh, look at the steam go. I'm sure this is not going to cause any issue whatsoever at any point. Oh, run, Bishop, run. Well, I'm glad everyone's come down to sort this out, but man, we got some scolding going on. There's hot temperatures going around. Thankfully, thankfully, the, all of the, uh, the gases here should help chill it down a bit, but uh, wow. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm going to build this one out of obsidian this time. Then hopefully any super hot material... What was that that just fell down? Super hot materials that get dumped into here or that uh, arise through some circumstance can just be vented off. Well, the, the heat can be vented off to the surroundings. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a workable one. Speaking of, one thing I want to do over on Turanu, we've got a bit of a problem uh, hatching over here because we do not have the water that we need to turn the mill lice into lice life. We, we, we need water. There is none. Every morning, a little bit is produced from the toilet. So is, is any going to get past? Here we go. We've got a little bit coming out here. Uh, and then it goes into this liquid res reservoir where the germs get completely scrubbed because we are covered. we have covered it in chlorine. That's beautiful. And when the germs get ticked down to zero, this germ sensor tells this liquid child valve to empty some out. But, but we've really not been getting much of that. So I'm going to put down another line, I think. The guys over here, I mean, they're relatively bored anyway. There's not much going on. So we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and put in this line. From the teleport device over to our water. This will be great. They're just going to tick this over overnight. So we'll, we'll leave them there or during the day, whenever it is they actually get round to it. Now we need to think about the water coming from this this teleport device or going to this teleport device as you can see there is no line here but we do have a bunch of gas pipes that go this way so maybe we can hijack its directionality here to help hopefully down here we're gonna have yeah this 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 will be perfect let's uh let's start by just tidying it up a little bit we want to destroy these destroy this and then uh liquid bridge over okay one for it's a long line it goes all the way from down here to up there but it's just a single line so hopefully hopefully people will be able to sort this out relatively quickly of course, the lack of lack of water coming through. Where, where's my water? What's going on here? We've got no power on this side. That surely something's gone wrong here. Oh, it's just it's just starting to build back up. We got we got about a kilowatt coming in. I mean, there are little drips and drabs of oxygen being made, which is interesting because I don't think there's any any water to to make it. Oh, look, there goes some. So a problem we had run into last time is the fact that we've run out of carbon dioxide. A little bit annoying as we'd set up a coal generator up here, but we've run out of things to feed our hatch to. But do you know where we've not run out of things to feed our hatch to? Of course, we're on Tiranu, the second, the second asteroid right now. If we go back to the first, we've got an awful lot of hatches down here, and they're all just sat there making coal. Does this, uh, this uh, um, accept coal? Not at the moment. And that's because there's no sorting mechanism for it. Wouldn't it be great to sort coal off of here and then send it? straight up and into this system. Mm. 
until we can do that, until we can do that, I'm going to click the coal button here and then start sending a whole bunch of it across. In fact, we might only be sending that across because they've got everything else they need. Oh, the reed fiber and fiber. They need some reed fiber. We do have 136 tons of the stuff after all. Okay, a couple of hundred kilograms of coal have gone through already and we will figure out how to get more in there. Let's, let's do that right now. Okay, so whilst I was putting down the blueprints for this solid filter, I took the liberty to go ahead and make another ranch block. I, I think it's going to work out. We've got a few things being made and destroyed all around here. That's all good. The problem we have got is how are we going to connect this rail up with this over here? I think we're going to have to come through this way. There's some chlorine patches that I'm a little bit worried about, but we can build this up through this way. I mean, we basically made a lock here anyway, right? Yeah, well, why, why does this exist? Did I build this? I bet I did. Maybe after the iron ore? In fact, let's go get that while we're at it. So the refinery is down, I've got iron to steal in there, and we're not seeing any ridiculous temperature waters, so that should be fine. We've got some actual water in there, okay, that's that's cool I suppose. Oh look at this. Okay, it, it be pumping, it be pumping. At some point this will back up enough that we can start sending water to the rest of the base. The fact that we are this drained is a little bit worrying to me, just a little bit. Alright, there we go. So, some waters are away. Alright, awesome. All the water pipes are legitimately full now. We're just waiting for this connection to be made. It's going to be done any moment now. So, rather than sit here and watch it, because we then got to wait for the water to get pumped up, I'm going to come over to, to Ranu here. Okay, so we've got the pipes all set up. But people are just kind of standing around. There's not a great deal going on in between the time of filling the generator up and dealing with the food, though they are all waiting poised for... I'd like to do a sour gas boiler, but honestly, honestly, that is some high level stuff and I don't think I have the materials to deal with it. Where's that slip got? Oh, there he is, behind that. He's hiding. He's hiding. But we've got two eggs already down here. That is amazing. F4 is showing me the flow of carbon dioxide coming down here. The chlorine is a bit of a problem. I think we'd like to get, the, get some way of sorting that out. Out, maybe filtering it out. This was what this pump was supposed to be doing, but uh, obviously a little bit got past it. And to be fair, it's only a small little pocket of chlorine. It's uh, not surprising that it made it through. Natural gas, though, not sure where that's coming from. I don't, I don't, I don't think any of my guys are flatulent. Okay, we've got some water coming through. Just in case it's not 100% clear, uh, Yakil is the uh, the island we started on. Down here, Tiranu. I thought it was that one up there, sorry. The, down here, Tiranu is the second one, and the teleport device connects these two together. I'm currently pumping water from the first to the second and let's see how that's doing. It's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm hoping by the time it gets there, well, you're going to have a, uh, a chef being able to do stuff. Uh, it'll be good. We'll start, start eating people's time up again. At some point, we're going to get to a situation down here where we have got too many slicksters. We're going to have to set up some sort of uh, pickup system like we do on the other rock uh, so we can start making some omelettes. Omelettes are tasty. Oh, this is still hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, we've still got germs, though. We've still got germs. Though I've just been given a bit of a warning that we've got a bit of a, uh, a, a, a an over damage. Look at that. There we go. Wire bridge damage overloading. We can we can live with it for now. We can live with it for now. If we find if we get a complete burnout, then uh, we'll we'll do something. Uh, in fact, the thing I will do is upgrade the conductive wire. But it's very hot at the moment, so I don't want to go through there right now. I mean, to be fair, we only need to wait... Oh, look, 36% die per cycle. Three, three, three cycles at the maximum. Are there any other germs anywhere? There's something there. Let's put that as a sweep. Of course, all our polluted water goes through the cleaning system over here, so that's, that's kind of fine. Of course, one of the things that the water has brought is research. I didn't know we were actually having anything queued up for research. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, fine art. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm going to allow this. Okay, I'm wondering why people aren't coming to make food. Random is on the research, but why have these two got a thousand other things to do? Okay, I mean, cleaning the toilet is quite important. Man, it turns out we have burnt all that coal already. Less than a cycle later. Less than a cycle later. That's that's pretty bad. That critter that keeps saying he's starving is the... Oh, no, it's a hatch this time. We've just fed you clay. We've just fed you clay. Go away. Well, anyway, this means that this... This line here is more important than ever, though we really need to get some more of this copper dug out. I'm going to put this up at high priority so Hicks can come along and dig this out and then get back to whatever he was doing. Which I presume is putting this all together, right?
Well, I thought we were going to have a wonderful system here. If I come across and go consume ore, I will pick up all the coal out of that one. That'll be pretty good. Of course, there is a little bit of a problem here that I had noticed last time. If we turn that off of sweep only, it should now go through and pick up everything. This is great. This is amazing. So we've got the coal. It's coming through. It's going to get dispensed out of here. It's going to go through all of this lot, through the filter, and then that's going to get passed up there. If we take a moment to just have a look at this, you can see that that's going there. Great. Wonderful. Amazing. It's going to go up. It's going to get sent into the uh, the teleport device and be sent over to the other world. But we've got another bit of a problem over here, and I'm not sure if it's one that's actually going to be... Um easy to explain but I'm gonna try anyway you might have seen that we had a couple of hatch uh, sorry not hatch eggs of fry eggs coming down this line and as you can see have they got stuck to they've not got stuck anywhere where did they go I'm gonna assume somehow they've died uh, that, that's really annoying that's really annoying so what was gonna happen was these guys would go through the sage hatch egg uh, filter here and then just kind of get caught on the end. I don't know what's happened. They've dropped off. Have they died? I, I just don't know. But the problem that we've actually got is I was then going to go, okay, well, we'll just copy out this conveyor chute, right? No, we need requ uh, we require the solid space transport research so I can put it on the end there and let things drop in the water. But it turns out, it turns out we need the space research. And how do we do that? It turns out with this orbital micro lab, we need to put it into a rocket. I mean, that's that's fine, that's fine. Especially as we've got all of this uh, coal kicking over now. Uh, there's one more thing I want to deal with with the coal before we start working on the rocket up here. I I don't I don't even know. Let's just quickly go into here. stations here. We can pop this down. So. Somewhere. I think we're gonna have to gut all of this out and come up with a new plan for it. But in the meantime, we've got a whole bunch of coal here going over to uh, Taranu. It's coming from your kill. It's going to Taranu. Uh, if we just come out of here, you can see it's all getting dropped on the floor. Now, I ideally would like to, down here, to put this as my coal depository. Uh, so this is now going to be dropping a bunch of carbon dioxide down on top of the slicks that we've got underneath. That's great. I would really like us only to be coal powered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and we are going to deconstruct these solar panels and send the glass back through here okay uh where is it industrial ingredients nope not this one manufactured material that's the one glass send the glass back thanks okay there we go the two bits of glass are down whether we're actually going to be able to see these guys Ooh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons see these guys uh go ahead and transport that i don't know but we are getting an awful lot of coal through waiting for this to come through we're already up to 2.3 tons wow I suppose the smart thing would actually to be to split this off and bring the conveyor rail down here. But until that happens, until that happens, we're just going to get uh, the duplicates to run things around. Okay, we're going to have to go ahead and work on the Tyranno one here, I think, to make ourselves our orbital place. But this is mainly, this is mainly because the only person... Oh, no, no, that's research. I want the skills. The only person with the skills to be able to do all the research that we want is, of course, our boy Random Random is here. We need to go up and give him uh, orbital research, maybe, and maybe bring him down here. At some point, at some point, we'll have the morale to deal with that. But I don't think anybody on the other rock actually has any researching skills. I mean, Jonesy likes to, but he's not he's not got the skills. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, we're going to take the bed out. I think the bed is the uh, the awkward bit there. If we say, take that out and replace it with the station, the orbital micro lab. I need plastic. I need a lot of plastic, and it turns out I don't have it. Of course, this is almost entirely down to the reason that we are... So oh, no, we're not sending the plastic. Where's all our plastic going? Are we making some down here? How much we got? We've got 30 kilograms. Oh, great. 30 kilograms, 40, 42 kilograms. We, we need a lot more, and that's why I ripped down the solar power plant and begin to just work off carbon dioxide. That's the plan anyway, that's the plan. Back on your kill, we've got a massive 450 kilograms of plastic here. I'm wondering whether it's worth sending it through here as well. Let's do it, let's do it, why not? Okay, the plastic has gone. We're going to do a lot of jumping back and forth between the two bases here, I think. So uh, get used to knowing which one's Tyranu and which one's Yakil. It's a bit hard to tell the difference in these built-up areas, but this is the one with the water going on. And, of course, over on Tyranu is the one with the, uh, the coal generation and the oil and stuff. But there we go. There's all the plastic coming through as well as all the coal. Oh, my gosh. Just so much coal. Uh, we're trying to get ourselves a whole a bunch of this um, copper ore dug out here because we are running short, running short of metal ores. It's a, it's a little annoying, actually, if to be honest with you. I want to go ahead and build a second coal generator, but missing resource. 800 kilograms. I mean, like, one. Well, these tiles appear to be made out of copper, so let's rip them down as well. Hmm, we don't have many sources of cold on this map, and this place is going to get really hot if we turn almost entirely over to, uh, to coal power. 
Okay, that's been queued up. Let's get over to the Helios over here. Station Orbital Micro Lab. Thank you very much. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm loving this a lot. Ah, it looks like the rerouting of the water works wonders. This is should now about double the amount of food we get per effort put forward. So that, that's going to be cool. All right, in an effort to get rid of all of this chlorine down here, I'm going to try and expand out this area so we can get another gas pump down. I've been trying to clear all this lot out so we can have a gas pump. Of course, I am going to have to make it out of gold amalgam because it's quite warm down here, but trying to figure out where it can go is a problem. Oh, incidentally, we totally got the second coal generator built up here. It is uh, producing a lot of carbon dioxide. Even though the batteries are full, I'm not that worried about the waste of power. I'm more worried about not being able to feed these guys so we can make some plastic, you know? Of course, at some point, we're going to have to use the water supply that's coming in from the other base to actually make ourselves a decent uh, oil reservoir. Maybe we can even then drop stuff out. I'm not sure what temperature it comes out of. I believe it's somewhere about 99 degrees. And can this pump take that? I don't know. 100 25? Maybe. I mean, it's 140 degree crude oil there. That's that's not great, is it? According to the wiki, it's actually 350 degree oil that comes out of here. So that's um maybe a little too hot. They still haven't got on with this though, have they? Ah, let's um put that up a high priority. I really want to get get this research underway. Really got to figure out how to get the uh, carbon dioxide out of here at some point as well. Oh, here we go. We got we got Era coming in to uh, to do a few of the golden amalgam. The way, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on a moment. Golden amalgam is far, far too precious. <laughs> go with copper. What is this lot made weighed out of? Is this all copper as well? I hope so. Over on your kill, because obviously we're going to be sending a rocket up into orbit. What we're actually going to do is put down another rocket pad here. At some point, I'm going to have to try and bring that the Helios one for refueling. Uh, so we might as well do that whilst we're trying to get ourselves a little bit of space science. That's my theory anyway. We'll see how it actually works out. Hmm, I was thinking about putting that pump down here, but uh, since turning this one off, it seems to have sorted itself out. I think, I think we're just going to wait a little bit. Okay, so now that this orbital micro lab has been built, it's not quite wired in, it's not quite ready to go, but we've got this conveyor chute. This is the piece of technology that we already have, but don't already have. So let's try and do so a little bit of material science here. I'm told, I am told, that the interstellar research is something, was it was in 5 or 50 grams of, per, of plastic per point. I will just go quickly. 5 kilograms per point, so 25. It really annoys me. Interstellar research required to unlock space technology. It can be conducted at a virtual planetarium. There are no virtual planetariums. Look, if I, if I put the word virtual, uh, if, I can, if I can actually type, well, whatever, just vert. You know, just like, where? where? VI? What, 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 heavy joint plate? What, there's nothing. There's nothing. It turns out they're actually talking about the orbital micro lab. Who knew? Who knew? Okay, I think it's time to hit some buttons. This one, I don't know about the others. We'll just we'll just hit that and see what happens. As I can see, we got we got this researcher focus advanced research to complete. I mean, we that literally doesn't exist anymore. There's so much of this game that's still from the old game, and they've changed stuff for spaced out, but they haven't actually changed the wording. It turns out. Yeah, look, there's no. I mean, there's advanced research. I got advanced research. They get what? Definitely don't need the atomic research. Let's give them field research and see what happens. All right, yeah, diffusion has helped us here. Okay, this, this is okay. This is okay. I can live with this. There we go. We've got two happy little uh, happy little slicksters working on. This guy's cramped, though. We might have to uh, try and deal with that because we've now got a lot of eggs in here, plus also on the room stakes. This is, this is actually quite small. This is only 37 tiles, and I, I believe they need, like, six tiles per space or something. I don't know, six tiles per slickster to have space. Uh, something like that. I mean, I might just dig out this area. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to do it. Watch. Ooh. Uh, and then we'll figure out how we're going to go through this bit here. You see, you see how I've got these like side tiles ready to go. I'm going to try and push this wall back, ideally without melting our faces, because that's a hundred degree out alcohol through there. Ooh. Okay, through the course of the day, we have got one bunch of research done. We're not quite up to the point where we can get the interstellar research done, but we're, we're on our way. We're on our way. I need to go back into Helios. Has this been ripped out? I need to rip down this one because we need to get the plastic in here somehow. How are we going to get the plastic in here? I'm not entirely sure. How about if we destroy this ladder and put a conveyor loader sideways here? Maybe we can get people going up that way. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Once the, once the ladder's destroyed and we'll put a conveyor loader in place, we'll see if anyone can do it. I'm not sure if anyone's got conveyor loading technologies on them, though. I believe the conveyor loaders might actually need to be made 
by a mechatronics engineer, and the only one of those we've got is Bishop. Do we send Bishop across? We'll find out what's going on here first. Okay, ladder has been taken out. Let's pop that there and go, hey, 999. Uh, oh, it looks like people can build or supply. We'll, we'll have to find out and see what happens. Uh, may maybe all the materials will turn up and then that will be that. Lead, lol. <laughs> Okay, requires learned skill. All right, we're, we're gonna do it. We're going over to your kit. What, what's happened here? Why is there steam? Why is there steam? Oxygen, water, I, I, I see no reason for there to be steam coming up here. Oh, I wonder what's happened. I wonder what's happened. Oh no. All right, well, before I even do that then, let's uh, let's mop all that up. I, I really do wonder, I really do wonder. Uh, okay, I'm looking for the teleport pad down here. Hi, how you doing? We're gonna send Bishop. Bishop, go. I've got one mission for you. It's a mission that is uh, gonna be very short, I hope. Very, very short. Are you on your way? You are on your way. Beautiful. Hit that button and let's watch him go. Uh, he's literally one job. One job is all we're here for. Hey, Bishop, how you doing? Are you going to do the one job that you are assigned for? It looks like you are. Great. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Into the Helios and boom. Look, look at him go. Look at him do his job. Uh, before he leaves, though, uh, I'm going to slow down the game. We need to make sure that he can move up here. I mean, it's, it's, it's a... It's a white square so normally it's a red square if you can't but we're gonna ask bishop to come in yep 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 and he can climb up all right great perfect um, an even more compact way of um, packing things in here i love it okay plastic please please oh wait allow manual use please bring that in is that something we can even do or do we need to power it first i've, I've got a feeling we need to power it i mean that's that's all we needed him for, right? That That's all we needed him for. I don't know whether we want to build a little bit of conveyor rail behind there just so it knows what it's doing. But I, no, I really feel like we're done. I really feel like we're done with him. But there he is down here. How you doing, Bishop? You having a good time? Can we click on you and go follow Cam? Hopefully he's just going to go and uh, move that bit of wire into place. That would be great. Okay, wire in placement. Now the real question is, are there people doing this manufactured material? We're not getting any of that wire. Maybe we do need the conveyor rail. All right, then. All right. Uh, just one little bit of conveyor rail back there. It's going to be fine, right? Going to be fine. Yeah, we've got plastic here. 320 kilograms of the stuff. So why is it not going into here? We've used this before, right? I'm, I'm almost certain we've used this before. There we go. That's what I'm after. Thanks. Okay, there we go. 270 kilograms of plastic. I mean, that's already a lot. That's a, that's a lot. That's 54 points of research there. I, I think we might be ready to go. Oh, first, first, before before we do any really weird stuff, teleport transmitter. But Bishop, you're due back home, my friend. Go back home. So we're currently at the bit where we have got all of our novice and all of our advanced research done. It might be time for us to come over to here, change the crew. Random random is indeed the guy we want. We're going to send him over there. Uh, we want the crew. No, we want crew like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, there is no destination set, but that is because we're literally we're destined to go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I thought we were on another rock. Wait, change this. Ju just outside. We've barely gone anywhere. We go from that tile to this tile because that is, of course, all we need. I am thinking that maybe, maybe we might. I want to get, take it all the way across to the uh, oh wait 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 we built we built a um a rocket pad specifically for look at this it's actually here hold up hold up let's do this first okay so if we allow for this to be done okay cool put all that in there like that and then we come back to Toronto and go hey actually i would like you to change your destination to there please all right cool wonderful and amazing it's not fuel the rocket is enough fuel for a one-way trip destination but we'll not make it back that's fine that's actually what I want. I'm going to acknowledge those warnings. And we're going to begin the launch sequence. Because why would our, at least one crew member must, must possess rocket piloting? Uh, I don't think I can because we've wiped random's mm, skills at some point. Ju just so that he could, you know, be nice. I think we're just going to... Oh, there we go. Easy, easy as that. Easy as that. There we go. Got it all. Acknowledge those warnings. Let's go. All right, the launch is going. The, the countdown is right. Away we go. Two, one, blast. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, before we do anything, I need to come over to Helios, and we need to make sure insufficient resources. That's, that's just not true, but we've got a bunch of um, plastic back there. Allow manual use, plastic, orbital, nine errands, no pending deliveries. I can't even so there's a bunch of plastic now dropped on the floor, right? Yeah, okay, that that's cool. And this now waiting to go. Can we move randomers to stop him? No, no, no. It turns out that uh, using the rocket is the highest priority. I'm not overly impressed by the fact that he's got uh, an air mask on on the way in. 
yeah, not really not impressed by that, actually. Okay, here we go. The flight has stopped, and randoms are doing a little bit of research. 75 kilograms. That's uh, that's more points than I got. Wait, wait, wait. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 35. It's all it should have cost, but that's fine. I'm fine with that. What is this animation? Oh my god, look at it. This is great. Is he using his butt there? Oh, that's 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 cool. I I feel like he's fighting the equipment more than uh, more than actually getting any research done. But look at the bar going across. We should have put a light source down. That would have helped immensely, especially as he has the breathing apparatus. Look at that. We're down to two points. Two points already. Uh, yeah, we could have ripped out this gas diffuser and maybe put in a lamp over here. That would have sped up the uh, the process quite a bit. We are, of course, as I say, going to send random randomers to the uh, to the other asteroid. Let's have a look. You kill over here. It's going to take a little bit of time to go that way, especially as he's not flying, he is indeed researching. Oh, oh wow, wow, just like that, as I finished the word researching, it came through. We got the conveyor chute, the conveyor receptacle, and all the things back that we actually already had. This this is what this little detour was all about, was getting back the technology that we already had access to. Also, also finding out how the virtual planetarium, as it is, works. It turns out it's not a virtual planetarium. It is indeed the orbital micro lab. So now, so now we can do all the technologies that have this little uh, yellow? Orange? I don't know what colour that's supposed to be. Gold, maybe? Uh, research uh, requirements next to it. Shouldn't be a problem. Should be nice and simple to deal with all of that. Is there anything we want to like start making our way to that is right on the edge here? The advanced caffeination. I mean, the, the problem is a lot of these things don't have the other... Oh, look, we could just put five points into Re Renaissance Art. Uh, oh, actually, we're going to put five points into here. Because who doesn't want memory toggles, arcade cabinets, checkpoints and counters? I mean, really? Okay, actually, there's not a great deal that I haven't got with this space age technology that doesn't also require uh, the atomic research. We're gonna have to get look at that next, I think. Look at that next. Oh yeah, food. We may have forgotten something for randomers here. Hmm. Well, good job he's gonna be there in ha less than half a cycle, right? According to the star map, anyway. If he flies, you gotta fly. We uh, may have had another slight problem here going on. I, I don't think it's the biggest issue in the world, but having ourselves a bunch of polluted water on the floor, randoms, it's, it's probably not the winner, mate. It's probably not. Are you flying, though? You are flying. Alright, this is good. Is randoms dying? Is he currently dying? Because his gas mask doesn't have anything in it. Unequip that suit. There we go. Alright, cool. He was suffocating, but I, fi I think we fixed that. I think we fixed that. That, that was not great. Oh yeah, we have uh, landed. This is great. I was watching randomers and suddenly, all of a sudden, the background changed and here we are. Thankfully, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of carbon dioxide going in to refuel that that uh, that engine there. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're going to send randomers back from whence ye came uh, and then get ourselves a whole bunch of other research is done we're going to continue on with our iron to steel push and we're going to try we're going to try and expand out to the other asteroids but of course we keep finding out things that are going a little bit wrong so we'll fix those before moving on to new things and i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye